You are officially 7 degrees north. Please share, subscribe, and continue to sow good seed. We appreciate you. UN human rights experts extremely alarmed by forced organ harvesting allegations in China. I'm including a clip here of someone who will explain it if you'd like to listen a little bit more. Um, and I'll include his Odyssey link. And I am going to just read the actual commentary clip that is going to be preceding this introduction to the topic. Forced organ harvesting in China is medical genocide for profit. Part one of the four part series World Summit on Forced Organ Harvesting. Falun Gong practitioners take part in a parade marking the 22nd year of the persecution of Falun Gong in China in Brooklyn, New York on July 18, 2021. News analysis. New details are emerging about the billion-dollar forced organ harvesting industry in China that has resulted in a million or more deaths of unwilling donors. The World Summit on Combating and Preventing Forced Organ Harvesting, held between September 17th and September 26th, brought together academics, lawyers, and politicians from around the world to discuss the overwhelming evidence of the Chinese Communist Party's transplant abuse committed mostly against the prisoners of cons conscience. But the CCP isn't the only perpetrator, according to summit participants. Political, academic, and media silence in the West for reasons of commerce amounts to complicity. The CCP's goal of eroding international norms of consent in order to maximize its profit from this industry must be stopped, participants argued. By more forcefully speaking out and legislating against the abuse, including those individualized sanctions against those CCP members who are most responsible, as well as an end to the international training of transplant surgeons from China. Medical Genocide more than a million, by some estimates, have fallen prey to forced organ harvesting in what would be considered medical genocide. According to organizers of the World Summit on Combating and Preventing Forced Organ Harvesting, the killings meet the UN Genocide Convention definition of genocide, which includes attempts to eradicate not only races but religions when there is state-level intent to do so. The mass killing of prisoners of conscience for their organs serves a dual purpose for the Chinese Communist Party, according to David Matas, an international human rights lawyer from Canada. The killings eliminate what the party sees as its political enemies. In this picture, we see David Matas. And he presents the new report on mass organ harvesting in China at the National Press Club conference in Washington. This was taken in uh, June, June 22nd of 2016. Carlos Iglesias Jimenez an international human rights lawyer from Spain agreed. The CCP's aim is to eradicate, to physically eliminate people because of their spiritual beliefs. These prisoners of conscience, such as Christians, Tibetans, Buddhists, and especially the millions of Falun Gong practitioners. The priority objective is their elimination, their eradication, and this logically has the connotations of a crime of genocide, he said. According to Teresa Chu, a lawyer with the Taiwan Falun Gong attorney, 
group, forced organ harvesting is not only used to carry out the genocide of Falun Gong practitioners in ethnic minority groups such as Uyghurs, but also implicated in massive economic profits from organ transplantation, transnational organ sale, transplant, tourism, and organ brokerage. Forced organ harvesting in China has a personary root, as it is likely produced billions of dollars in revenue for China's hospitals and hundreds of millions in taxes for use by Beijing. Lord Hunt of King's Health in London called the practice commercialized. Indeed, it is mass murder carried out on an industrial scale with the involvement of China's military. On close read, the evidence of forced organ harvesting in China sounds a lot like genocide given that it's focused against a particular religion that the state seeks to eradicate. Dr. DeClan Lyons at Trinity College in Dublin said that organ transplantation is estimated to be a billion dollar business per annum in China, and up to 60,000 to 100,000 transplant transplants occur on an annual basis by the People's Republic of China. China's organ transplant customers are global. Dr. Huang Shiwei from Taiwan said that over the past 20 years, over 4,000 Taiwanese went to China for liver or kidney transplants. Besides Taiwan, people from South Korea, Japan, South Asia, the Middle East, and even Western countries flocked to China to receive transplant surgeries after 2000. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe. Do not forget to sow good seed.